This is a call to action to stop sleeping with men, especially men that don't have your best interest in mind, especially men that don't give a shit about what just happened in the news today, especially about men who care more about their sexual pleasure than you and your rights. Fuck them. Fuck them by a vibrator. Hey babe, daily reminder, um, don't have sex with him. Don't have sex with him. We, we have to exercise our rights right now, okay? Okay? And if, if you do and you have a miscarriage by accident, you'll probably go to jail, so. So there's still a lot of confusion over Roe v. Wade. And I get it. There's a lot of feelings getting mushed in with facts and it gets messy. So I'm gonna keep this short and simple. By overturning Roe v. Wade, that's basically SCOTUS saying that the federal government has no authority over a woman's body. What they've actually done is taken power away from big government and given it back to the people, where it belongs, where it's always belonged. So go vote. Go talk with your local and state representatives. Let your voices be heard. Because a sex strike, I hate to break it to you, but it's not going to work. I have thoughts going through my mind with this Roe versus Wade bullshit. Ladies go on strike, go on strike. We did in the Roman age sex strike, sex strike. And if you like dick very much, just go buy a machine. It'll be less of a bitch. I'm a single mom, so I'm already there. And who the fuck cares? Who the fuck cares? I care, I care, we care, we care. And you strict males better give a shit. Oh, we're just gonna take back all this good, sweet, beautiful shit that you can't live without. You stayed in our bodies for nine goddamn months, nine goddamn months. And now you spend the rest of your life trying to crawl back inside but hey why not stop there just take complete control of everywhere else down there fuck you sex strike so this is what i don't get about the uh sex strike thing if you're already with with someone right hopefully they would care about your reproductive rights and if they don't why are you with them because if they don't, then they're probably an asshole. Am I right? So, do, do you need to be in that relationship if that's the case? I think more than a sex strike in that case. So, if your person does, you know, support those, then how's that affecting? Beautiful, beautiful girls only date men with vasectomies. Let's take a minute to appreciate these whale pajamas. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful girls delete their own fans. Beautiful, beautiful girls no longer have accounting clients. Beautiful, beautiful girls no longer dance for entertainment. Beautiful, beautiful girls will take all of their photos and videos down off the internet. Beautiful, beautiful girls support other beautiful, beautiful girls who may have to take a hiatus from making any kind of money for the time being. Beautiful, beautiful girls say no as a whole sentence, no, period. Beautiful, beautiful girls know if you don't know how to play your toy, you don't get away with them at all. So when women say, hey, we're going on a sex strike, I better not hear any bitching, okay? I better not. And I'm saying it like that because, oh my God, my hair, because I want y'all to understand we're gonna be hearing it if you guys continue to let this go on. And apparently not that many of you are supporting us. You're quiet, right? You're so quiet. You're quiet as hell. Why, why are you the one that's quiet? Oh, wait, that's right. Because your rights have yet to be taken away, but they will be. And I'm telling you now, stand up for us now. You still get to have fun later. But how you stand up for us and how you show up for us is what is going to matter to all of us as women. We will remember who stood up for us, how they did it, and their motivations. Don't ever forget that. Otherwise, it'll just be you in your hand for the rest of your life, like Pink said. So, which is the better option? You tell me. So, the plan, ladies, is to go on a sex strike now, right? Right? You ride it on. Okay, 